Pancreatic cancer is a deadly cancer, currently the third leading cause of cancer-related death in the United States, and soon to become the second leading cause of cancer-related death in the United States in only the next three years. And the prevailing opinion has been that uh, pancreatic cancer is uh, generally not spontaneously recognized by the immune system. And this sort of being one of the reasons why uh, pancreatic cancer uh, it has been resistant to immune therapies, specifically immune checkpoint inhibitors. And uh, the other reason why this is thought to occur is because generally pancreas cancer has a few mutations and therefore fewer mutation-derived neoantigens, which are these foreign proteins that are generated in cancers that allow cancers to be recognized as foreign by T cells. Uh, however, uh, some of our research findings have uncovered that rare long-term survivors of pancreas cancer, these are a rare subset of patients, count for about 9% of all pancreas cancer patients that have exceptional outcomes. Uh, we believe uh, they do, in fact, have uh, immune activation spontaneously in their primary tumors uh, with a large, uh, much higher density of T cells, about 12 times more more activated T cells in their tumors. And we believe the targets in these tumors are in fact mutation derived neoantigens. So this was sort of the clinical observation that we published a few years ago, that uh, if uh, immune recognition of uh, neoantigens as that occurs spontaneously in long-term survivors uh, could potentially impact outcomes in pancreas cancer, could you then replicate this by administering a vaccine that delivers these new antigens to other patients whom this immune recognition does not happen spontaneously. So this was the general um, uh, lead up research that led to our initial concepts behind our phase one trial. And the reason why these, uh, in the phase one trial, we uh, wanted to do individualized mRNA vaccines was because in these long-term survivors, the neoantigens arose in tumor-specific uh, passenger mutations and not in shared driver mutations between cancers or patients. So this indicated to us that the vaccines needed to be individualized. And at the time when we were designing this, we thought the best a clinical platform uh, to be able to individually make these vaccines fully integrated into a clinical workflow and give it to patients uh, in real time uh, would be with mRNA. So this was our uh, this was the thinking behind why we wanted to test individualized mRNA neoantigen vaccines in pancreatic cancer. 